ever feel gassy, like you've gained five kilos in the past two days? Well, most likely bloating is to blame. Fortunately, you can avoid the puffiness with Andrea because she's here to give us some great bloat busting bites. I'm so happy that we're talking about bloating because it's something that I think all of us experience. Mm. But before we talk about that, do you want to tell us what is a spastic colon first? Well, spastic colon refers to that um, bloating and also cramps in the abdomen. And it results from gases building up in the colon. That's the lower part of the digestive system. Yeah. And spastic colon is one of the symptoms of what we call irritable bowel syndrome. Which foods are to blame for causing bloating? Well, you're right, some foods can cause bloating um, and they are the gas-forming foods. So I've got a display here of the foods that we should try and eat less of All right. while you're bloated okay. or if you're prone to feeling bloated. Yes. And it's not to say that they're unhealthy foods All because, right. I mean, there's my favourite food in the world, oh, lentils. Oh, lentils, yeah, those yes. are your favourite, hey? And those do? Um, yes, for some people they have a very sensitive digestive mm. system so beans and lentils would cause bloating so during that time okay. steer clear from a whole bowl of lentil salad. Okay. Sure. Onions we know are also mm. sort of known or prone to cause Stout. a bit of bloating. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And then um, we have milk here so people that suffer with milk intolerance or yes. lactose intolerance would find if they drink a big glass of milk mm. about 20 to 30 minutes thereafter they may feel like grumbling in their yeah. stomach and even a runny tummy okay. so that's also an indication to stay away from the milk okay. if you suffer with bloating right. Absolutely. gassy cool drinks of course mm. of course that's like I have nothing to tell you if you're feeling bloated but especially the cola ones because the caffeine in there can irritate oh. the digestive system and yeah. also the sugar okay so that's a no-no and then um, I think these look delicious. No, don't <laughs> say that. My samosas. Yeah. I love them. Uh, there, there are two problems with samosas in terms of bloating. Yeah. The one is that they're very spicy. So mm -hmm. if your digestive system is highly sensitive, um, try not to eat them. And also okay. because they're deep fried. <sighs> it's not to say you can't eat them okay. ever, but, but on days that you feel bloated. All right. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So um, then whole wheat bread. Now, I often recommend to people to eat whole grain cereals All right. because of the fiber. But too much fiber can mm. upset an already yeah. irritated or irritable bowel. Okay. And then the cauliflower. Cauliflower. Yes. Oh, me and cauliflower, we know all about the bloating with okay. that one. <laughs> so, so the veggies that you can rather eat if you suffer with bloating right. um, would include the pumpkin family. So mm -hmm. butternut, gym squash, um, patty pans, okay. um, and, and yeah, baby marrows as all well. Right. Almost forgot about that one. Um, and then fruit. The skin and the pips of mm. apples can also cause irritation. Right. So try and peel the apple rather than eat okay. the flesh of the fruit. Um, because the digestive system could be irritated by right. the fibres. So which foods then help to reduce bloating? Okay, so there are some herbs mm -hmm. actually and some foods as well. So we spoke about the pumpkin the family pumpkin, yeah. of vegetables. Also oats seem to be tolerated a lot better as a grain and rice tend to um, not irritate the digestive system. Okay. And then if we move over to herbs, yeah. one that I definitely need to mention <sighs> is Ginger. ginger really has a soothing effect on the digestive system and reduces yeah. the bloating. Okay. Mint, great also to help mm. calm down the digestive system. Okay. And people that suffer with the gassiness and flatulence yeah. would find great relief in fennel seeds. Oh, okay, I'm going to hand those out around set, just but, in case. But you see now, <laughs> if you hand this around, I don't think people would know what to do with I'm it. I'm sprinkle it on everything they eat. <laughs> okay. But. Um, you can find fennel tea where they grind the seeds and okay. it's made in a little tea bag. Right. Um, so the fennel tea would be a good option. But um, Vital makes a product specifically for bloating. It's called Vital Spastical Ease. Nice. Um, and it contains some fennel, it contains mint and ginger mm. and some digestive enzymes. And it's really designed to take the load off the digestive system and reduce the bloating. Very nice. So it's soothing. Okay, so that's your one-stop shop if you actually want to just reduce the bloating without having to make any special ginger drinks or anything like that. Yes, and, and like I said, I mean, um, if you suffer with bloating, it's not necessarily every day of the month. So on days that you feel the symptoms, mm -hmm. try and avoid these types of foods and take a natural remedy and that will definitely make the day a lot easier. Okay. 
Wonderful. Awesome. Musa, I'm going to avoid you. But thank you so much, Andrea, for giving us these fantastic tips and showing us exactly what we can use to reduce the mm. signs of bloating if we are experiencing them. Oh, it's always good to have Andrea here. Now, for more advice on how to avoid feeling bloated, you can contact Andrea on her Facebook page. That's Andrea Duplessy, Vital Expert. Trust Vital for your family's health.